This is all being seen from the eyes of a student. My greatest fear as of now is that those younger than me will not be given the opportunities that I had, and that goes for many. We may not all be the doctors and lawyers of tomorrow, but we have the potential to be some of the greatest leaders of tomorrow. And that all comes from the knowledge we were provided with yesterday. I'm not only trying to save MJHS for me, but for my little sister as well. I want her to experience Ms. Blaisdell's pure energy, Ms. Solsky's universal acceptance, Mr. Buchanan's terrifying and extremely effective lectures. I want her to experience the same community feeling I felt, and I can't do that if you close my school. I am also concerned for our terrific teachers who may not be able to stay in GPS if we take over the school. While I may go be going on to high school next year, I am worried for my two sisters, ages 10 and 7, that they will not have access to the high quality facilities like I have. I love Gilbert Junior High School. I love the teachers, the staff, the classes, and the campus. I am able to walk down the hallway and see my principal or my current and old teachers and say hi, and they know me, not just my name, but who I am. What happens if GCA doesn't meet capacity? Will you kick them out when the neighborhood requires another junior high? Your studies show that older families are moving out and younger families are moving in. Plus, if you combine both schools, then it would be very crowded. The other junior highs in the district already have a lot of students, so this doesn't help the situation. When overcrowding happens, students will get less direct academic attention. Our town is still growing, so we could have another issue sooner than later. I know you want to solve the problems with GCA, but it doesn't make sense to solve one issue and create several others. I trust almost every adult at my school and have gotten to know them and even talked to them about my personal issues. Gilbert Jr. feels like more, more than a family than a school. The school board is making a critical decision soon on whether or not to keep our school open. Have you even thought about, for a minute, the feelings of the students being affected by this closure? This problem affects more than just the seventh graders, it also affects the families and students in the neighborhoods near Gilbert Jr. In conclusion, before considering closing Gilbert Jr., put yourself in our position as parents, teachers, and students of Gilbert Jr. High, and you can solve GCA's problems just not at the expense of our community. Why am I not at Greenfield? It opened up, I was teaching, and I said, I'm not leaving my kids. They need teachers to stay at Gilbert Jr. High School. And when Highland opened up, I said, I'm staying here. I'm not abandoning my kids. And when Desert Ridge and South Valley opened up, I stayed. I didn't abandon my kids, and I really don't see why this district has decided that it's now, now is the time to abandon my children. They don't deserve that.